Hey, Summit Park kids! Roll the title sequence! Welcome to Summit Park Kids. No matter where you're watching service from today, we are glad you're joining us. Here's the thing, Summit Park Kids isn't just for the weekend. It happens all week long. You guys can get involved by subscribing to Summit Park Kids YouTube and interacting with us all week long. One way you can get involved is by posting a video of you doing the big idea and the big word challenge. Don't forget to tag Summit Park Kids and use the hashtag Summit Park Kids every time you post. It's Big Idea Time! Today's Big Idea is God's goodness gives us joy. So everyone stand up, stand up, and watch Landon for some motions. Stand up! Stand up! Okay, you guys are standing up? Okay, cool. Guys, our motions today are God's goodness gives us joy. Let's do it all together now, loud and proud. Are you guys ready? One, two, three. God's goodness gives us joy. Great job, guys. Great job. You can go ahead and sit down and remember to tag Summer Park Kids when you post those videos. At Summer Park Kids, we love God's word. The reason we do is because it helps us when we have a sad day, a bad day, or a really, really, really rad day. The Bible is God's word, and God's word is good, good stuff. stuff. That means that we take the time to remember the things that the Bible says. We really believe that God's word is chock full of lessons about how we should live today. One way we remember God's word is through saying it out loud. That way we can keep it in our minds and in our hearts. So we should practice the Big Word Challenge. Our Big Word Challenge comes from Psalm 118, one and says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His faithful love endures forever. Can you guys do this with us? And guys, we're gonna add some motion to it, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord, Lord, for He, he is good. good. His, His faithful love endures forever. forever. Great job, guys. Great job. Don't forget, we will give you an opportunity to say the Big Word Challenge every single weekend at Summer Park Church for a chance to earn raffle tickets and some candy. It's offering time. Offering is another way to worship. It shows God that we love him more than anything we could ever buy. Here's what's really cool. When we give, God takes our offering and multiplies it and makes it worth even more. Then he uses it to build his kingdom here on earth. So every time you give, you are helping God build his kingdom. At home, we want you to give your offering to an adult in the room. They can give online at the church's website or on the app. That's right. Our offering verse comes from Malachi 3.10 and says this, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse. This verse is a command from God to give faithfully, knowing that God will use it to build his kingdom. What you are giving is making an impact to the kingdom. You are a kingdom builder. That's right, you are a kingdom builder. So stand up and say that with us. Say, I, I am a kingdom, kingdom builder. builder. Yes, you are, you are a kingdom builder. Thank you so much for giving today. Before we jump into the Bible lesson, let's practice that big idea one more time. Remember guys, the big idea is God's goodness gives us joy. Now stand up and do it with us. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Loud and proud, are you ready? One, two, three. God's goodness gives us joy. Now stand up and do it with us loud and proud. Stand up, stand up. Ready? One, two, three. God's goodness gives us joy. All right, guys. It is time for us to continue our new series called Attitude of Gratitude. Oh, I like this. Hear that little rhyme? Guys, buckle in. Let's get ready. Let's do this thing. Let's go. Let's, 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 let's go. Let's go. 
Hey kids, my name is Zach, and if this is your first time here, welcome! You are joining us for the third, everybody say three, the third episode of our series called Attitude of Gratitude. That rhyme, it's amazing. Okay, with Thanksgiving just around the corner, we're, we're taking some time to talk about thankfulness and gratitude. Gratitude's super important because it's, it's, it's talked about all throughout the Bible. So what we've been talking about is defining what gratitude is and then how we show it. So first episode, we defined gratitude. What does it even mean? And then the first week was recognize. And so the three ways you show gratitude is to recognize, acknowledge, and appreciate. And today we're learning all about acknowledgement. That's a big word, okay? Everybody say acknowledge. Good job. Okay, before we get started, of course, we're gonna get moving around a little bit. Now we've made some room for our Thanksgiving meal. It's time to practice our food getting skills. Everybody say that together. Food getting skills. So we're gonna act like we're walking through this Thanksgiving line, snagging some of our favorite foods. Does that sound good to you? Okay, everybody stand to your feet. We're gonna hop in line. Everybody hop on three, one, two, three, hop. <laughs> okay, good job. Now we wanna put on our bibs, okay? Put on our bibs. Do you guys think this bib, do you think that this fits me? Do you think this is gonna be good to go? Yeah, you think so? It matches my shirt. You guys like it? I think that this bib is going to cover me from any gravy that I eat. <laughs> okay, let's get in the line. Everybody stand up, get in the line. Now you've got your tray of food, okay? Take your tray of food and you're walking. You see it? Okay, you see a turkey leg? Snatch it. Okay, see that dinner roll? Oh, somebody's throwing it over. Oh, you got it. You got the dinner roll. Oh, oh God, boy. take a seat. We have some amazing facts from Fiona. Let's go check it out. Hello, boys and girls. I'm so glad to be back sharing some spectacular facts with you. Anywho, my name is Fiona, and this is Facts with Fiona. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can see every time I post a new video. This week I did my research while at the library so that I could learn all about Thanksgiving. And I'm so excited to share these tradition facts with you. But first, we need to open our Bibles or get out our Big Word Challenge cards to recite the Big Word Challenge together. Remember, our Big Word Challenge comes from Psalms 118.1. Are you ready? We'll say it on the count of three. One, two, three. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. I love this verse so much. And wow, what an amazing example of how we can thank God for how good God really is. All right, boys and girls, let's get to it. We've got some tremendous Thanksgiving facts to share. Did you know that there are four towns in the United States named Turkey? That might be confusing when driving across the United States. And did you know that the average number of calories consumed on Thanksgiving is 4,500? That's double the daily count. And did you know that turkey wasn't on the menu at the first Thanksgiving? Hmm, I wonder what was. And who would have thunk that turkeys weren't at the first Thanksgiving and that it's still a tradition today? What on earth did they eat? Anywho, if you know more great facts about Thanksgiving, make sure to put them in the comments or tell your small group leader so we can all be smarter. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Facts with Fiona and make sure you remember to like, comment and subscribe for more great facts. Have a spectacular week. Bye. Thanks, Fiona. Okay, kids, in our Bible lesson today, we're talking about the second way we can show gratitude, which, which is to acknowledge. Can everybody say that again with me? Ready? One, two, three, acknowledge. We spent all of last episode talking about how we need to recognize all the things that we can thank God for, but now it's time about at, talking about actually seeing God do great things in your life right here, right now. In Psalm 86, verse 10, it says, For you, God, are great and perform wonderful deeds. You alone are God. And in 1 Samuel 12, 16, Samuel says, Now stand here and see the great things the Lord is about to do. 
It's constantly said throughout the Bible that God has, does, and will do great things. When we simply see or acknowledge the amazing things God is doing for our good, our whole perspective, that means the way we see things can change. We can see the good in our lives. And Psalm 86 actually helps us with our first point, which is God does good. Can you guys say that with me and a neighbor? Ready? One, two, three. God does good. In case you don't remember, Psalm 86 verse 10 says, for you, God, are great and perform wonderful deeds. You alone are God. What an amazing reminder. God is great and he does great. That's something you can always be thankful for. Thankful for the great things God does in our lives. And along with that, when we see it, when we acknowledge that he alone is God, we become more thankful for his greatness and power in our lives. In Psalm 126 verse three, he says, yes, the Lord has done amazing things for us. That actually leads us to the second point, which is God will do good. Can everybody say that with me on the count of three? Find another neighbor and say it. One, two, three, God will do good. In 1 Samuel 12, 16, Samuel told us about how God will do a great thing. So in the book of 1 Samuel, this was said right before Samuel prayed to God to make it rain in a season that it had never rained. And guess what? It did. So when we pray to God, he has the power to actually make it rain. That same God is the God who's doing things in your life. When we see it, when we acknowledge that God is doing these amazing things, it helps us understand God for who he really is. Acknowledging God's will for our life or seeing the good plan that he has for our life, it helps us get through really tough days or maybe really hard situations because we're, we're constantly looking at how awesome God is. Logan has some more to say about this in his brand new stream. Let's go take, take a look. What is up everybody? My name is Logan and we are back for another Logan Live. What is up, some of our kids? What is up? Are you guys having a fantastic day? Are you guys are you guys ready for Thanksgiving? Do you guys believe Thanksgiving happens this week? Oh my gosh, I am so, so excited for it. So excited to eat some food, eat some pumpkin pie like the pumpkin pie house we built last week. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so amazing. But speaking of that pumpkin pie house, I kind of felt bad, like what if I have a friend over and they can't stay with me? So I'm gonna build another house, but guys, it's gonna be a turkey. <gasps> I'm building a turkey house. So as we're doing that, I kind of want to talk about our second point today, which was God will do good. And the verse we talked about was 1 Samuel 12, 16, which said, now stand here and see the great things the Lord is about to do. Do you guys have trouble waiting? Like, I know I do. Like, if I'm waiting in line, like, I don't, have you guys heard about Whataburger? I heard the Whataburger in Lee Summit, like, you have to wait in line for hours to even get some food. I'm so bad at waiting, even if I'm waiting for a game to come out or waiting for the, the new update of Minecraft. Like, I'm, I'm really bad at waiting. But the amazing thing is, is that God does amazing things in our waiting and when we wait, we can see the good things that God does in the end. A lot of times we can rush things and if we don't wait, we don't get to see the the good things. We don't get to see the fruit of the things that God is doing and what we can experience with God. So I want to encourage you guys, no matter what, always, 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 always pray. And when you seems like a super long time of waiting, just keep on praying and you will see the great things that God is going to do in your life. Well, everybody, I think it's time for us to continue to finish this turkey house. So let's go ahead and cue the Hyperloop.
Oh, oh my goodness. Some of our kids, isn't this amazing? I know last week I asked you, but this week, this week, would you guys stay in this house? I wish I could build this in real life. Again, do you know how many amazing houses I would have by now if I could build the things that I built in Minecraft in real life? I'd have a pumpkin pie house, a turkey house. Didn't we build a house in like a hot air balloon one time? We, we built so many houses. Gosh, they are so, so cool. Well, everybody, I am so glad that you guys decided to listen and learn with me today. And always remember that in the waiting, just remember that God will do good. God will do good. Well, Summer Park kids, I had such a great time with you. Be sure to subscribe for more live streams. And as always, stay cool, stay classy, and bring a friend back for the next Logan Live. Thanks, Logan. Okay, kids, we've been talking about acknowledging God. And here's the thing. When you see God for who he really is, we have no other response but just to want a relationship with him, for, for, for us to want him to be our very best friend. And if you don't have a relationship with Jesus right now, I wanna give you an opportunity to pray a prayer with me. And if you're watching from home, you can go ahead and pause this video, go find an adult in the room, and then we can pray together. Everybody ready? Let's bow our heads, close our eyes, and let's pray. Jesus, you're amazing. You're awesome. And Lord, I see that. I acknowledge that. And Lord, I want you to be number one in my life. I love you, Lord. I thank you for forgiving my sins and being my best friend. It's in your name we pray. Everybody said, amen, amen. Hey, if that was your first time that you prayed that prayer or first time in a long time, we'd love for that adult in the room to maybe send us a message on social media or an email. We'd love to hear about this amazing decision, but we're not completely done yet today. So let's go ahead and kick it on back to our hosts. Thank you so much for watching Summit Park Kids. We hope you guys had the best time ever. If you guys did, we have so many resources for you on our website at summitparkchurch.com slash kids. We love you, Summit Park Kids. Don't forget to be a light, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.